Hello. Did you know that a big percentage of wood by products are burned during the pulp and paper process and almost no one benefits from them? My name is Carlos Vega Aguilar and I'm a PhD student in the Faculty of Engineering, University of Porto. Now I will describe you how can we can take advantage of this byproduct called lignin to produce added value compounds like C4 dicarboxylic acids employed in food, polymer, and pharmaceutical industries. Lignin represents around 30% of wood with a complex structure that makes it difficult to depolymerize into smaller fragments. Strong oxidants like hydrogen peroxide in the presence of catalysts can cleave the bonds and produce C4 dicarboxylic acids like succinic, tartaric, malic, malic, and fumaric acids. What is the importance of these acids? Today, they are considered one of the 12 building blocks for the future bio-based economy. So, in this work, we perform the oxidation of four different lignins using a catalyst called titanium silicolite one, which is already in use by the industry today. How we did it? We placed a lignin solution together with the catalyst and hydrogen peroxide inside a flask, which is inside a steel reactor. Then we heated the reactor and when the time finished, we cool immediately the reaction. In the best scenario, we obtained 11% of succinic acid, which is more than four times higher than the non-catalyzed reaction. The process has a strong dependence in the pH, temperature, time, catalyst load, and the amount of hydrogen peroxide we place in the reactor. Also, the lignin choice is important, and indolin 80 was the lignin with the best results, followed closely by an organosulf lignin. Finally, the TS1 catalyst proved to be stable after five running cycles. What do we conclude from this study? We obtain important yields of succinic acid from lignin, delivering high added value compounds from an industrial byproduct. And we found that the catalyst titanium silicate one was stable and reusable and improved lignin oxidation to valuable C4 dicarboxylic acids. So, do you now think that we can take advantage of this residue instead of throwing it away? and then establish the foundation of a new bio-based economy